just uh, tell me a little about what a program like this means to, to science and to NASA to, to bring kids in and get them thinking about these things early on. Well, I think innovation of spirit is just a great way to um, uh, convey the importance of you know, exciting and engaging um, our next generation of, of technical expertise, you know, from science just to imagination and exploration. And if you don't feed and excite and spark and nurture that, it just doesn't happen on its own. But when you do, it can really be transforming. Tell me if you could a little about your um, your experience as a kid with science, or was there was there an event, as a, a catalyst, something like this maybe that pushed you in the direction of wildlife? Wow, I, I was a kid long enough where it wasn't a routine thing for uh, women to aspire to go into space. But uh, certainly like every kid, I had that night when I'm looking up at the full moon and just wondering just what it would be like to be on the moon. And the next thing I know, my dad is calling me in to watch Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. And at that moment, I wanted to have that view. Because the thing that I thought about is what's more amazing than the view he has of, of us on Earth is what view that would be for me if I were actually in his footsteps right then and there. And the only way I knew to get there was to really stay in school, learn the sciences, and prepare myself so that I'd be a worthy candidate, because it is such a privilege. What, um, uh, I, I noticed you were talking to a lot of, a lot of people after your, your panel, and that, um, did you talk to any of the, any of the competitors, the people, kids participating here? And, Tell me if you got any sense of that. Yeah, I, I, I certainly did. As a matter of fact, uh, it, to me, they were all competitors because they were all just so enthused and so excited. And um, it was hard to remember that they were competitors because I really was talking to them like colleagues. They've got some great ideas, some very credible ideas. And actually, they were doing more talking to me than I was talking to them. They really educated and uh, me quite a bit, and I learned a lot and they gave me some great ideas. Um, the, the downside of it is I realized a lot of I'll never have the opportunity in my lifetime to fully test it out. So there was this great exchange kind of passing on the torch where I was sharing with them, hey, here are some avenues, opportunities, great ways to really you know, take your experiment, your ideas to the next level. Great. Um, maybe just talk a little about NASA's participation with the, the foundation in this Ben, I don't know if that's directly your uh, your charge, but I know the um, the aerospace uh, medical group is one of the sponsors. And you're obviously here. To tell me so about NASA's involvement and, and how the, an organization like this is important to NASA. Well, you know the Conrad Foundation and their whole innovation of spirit is is a great vehicle for for NASA to be able to really um, reach out, as I talked about, excite and engage and cultivate. Um, just the excellence that's out there, the genius that's out and amongst us. Um, NSBR, NSBRI um, is basically our scientific expertise team that is partnered with NASA to help come up with some of the solutions and strategies to allow astronauts to work and live happily, healthy, safe, safely in space. So we really rely on them. We look to them, and they give us incredible guidance and instruction. And they've really transformed our capability to be able to go into deep space. Um, what's so important about their contribution is they're one of the you know, silver sponsors. And so they are really enabling not only NASA, they're enabling their own workforce, their own community of investigators, and grooming them and reaching out at a very early age. And I think that's just very forward thinking and very innovative in itself. Great. Uh, that's all I have. Anything else you want, you, you want to say about it? Oh my gosh. Just to uh, you know, keep on reaching, keep on dreaming. The sky's no longer the limit and there is truly space for all. Thank you. Great. Okay. Yeah. So maybe you could just tell me uh, a little about uh, what the Conrad Foundation program is, what it means to you, and how you think it's affected. Well, um, I know Nancy, and she described what it was, and I was very fascinated by it, because I think we need to get the young minds and fertile minds to really get in a direction that we want them to go, which is that to become entrepreneurs, to become inventors, to, to create jobs, to do things that we are not doing. 
And uh, so it's, this is, I feel this is a rare privilege. I was very busy. I thought I'm going to have to come out for this. So uh, I think it's filled every bill that I thought. These are brilliant kids. They have great ideas. They have to be formed, but, you know, that's what we have to help them to do. And as a, as a businessman, how do you, uh, what's the value, do you think, of a program like this, bringing new ideas into business? A lot. Um, uh, because it may be not their first idea that gets put together. They get exposed to us. Um, we're not, again, specific, businessmen. You know, we are like venture capitalists and people who know how to build it. We can then help them. Then they come back with the next idea, next idea, then, you know, usually by the second or third idea, you can really do something. Sometimes the first idea works and, you know, you have um, uh, a lot of people with college dropouts who really built some of the best companies in the, in the nation. So uh, there's a road to follow there.